what's up guys welcome back to the channel i am of course c and puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching thanks for making this video a part of your day here we are folks the first week of march and we head towards wrestlemania and in the last video we um had some run-ins with samoa joe and randy orton the backstabber we faced them in a two-on-one then we faced them in a tag team match with partner Seth Rollins. And then we needed one one more person. And we talked uh, Dean Ambrose into coming in. And we've just uh, we've formed Puma Elite, if you will. Seeing Puma, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. And we took on, at the Fastlane pay-per-view, Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, who is your Universal Champion, and Mark Henry. So let's get into our week here. There's trips. Look, I'm very busy, but I'll promise I'll make time for you later. All right, fine. Holy moly. Why don't I ever see anybody's new, any new cause? I saw Confucius McCann, but that was it. And I'm sick of talking to all the same people. All right, Todd, let's start this thing off. What you got for us? Well, look at him strut. Fresh off a of victory with a brand new, just out of the box faction by his side. To say nothing of his first WrestleMania hurtling at him like an avalanche of opportunity. Well, when you put it like that, not sure if I should feel pride or terror. The smart man would feel both. In completely unrelated news, there's an opening in the schedule this very moment. I feel like I have a certain producer to thank. Thanks are never needed. He's salaried. <laughs> but if a certain superstar maestro wanted to express himself to his adoring public... Yeah, I can think of something I like to say. All right. Let's go give him hell and give him a taste for WrestleMania. Let's go make a promo. See if anybody comes out. Who am I getting in the ring? All right, here we go. Come on. My pack, my team, and I just put the whole locker room on notice. Here we go. Somebody it's not just me team. anymore. It's the Puma Elite. I've teamed up with some of the hottest talent in the industry. And I'm thr thrilled to introduce them to the WWE. This is the most dominant team in the WWE. Other factions are going to have to take note and make adjustments because they can no longer claim to be contenders. Our power level is a first here. That's right. Here we go. Admit it. No faction in history has been more robust than ours. Not DX. Not The Shield. Nobody. NWO, nothing. We've got power to the max. Agility for days and let's not talk about luck because we don't need a scrap of that. Whatever weaknesses we may have had as individuals, superstars are meaningless now with our combined attributes. No one is a threat anymore. Um, here we go. Eh. Okay. I'm not saying it's possible to stop us, but the only chance that everyone will have is by banding together. No false modesty. I was a pretty big deal before. Now that I have two significant allies, you can imagine the cat catastrophic whirlwind I've become. This kind of force can't be withstood, not even by an all-powerful megastar. Oh, man. Puma putting it down. Uh, let's see. This Maybe this one? Ugh. I can tell that this is going to be the beginning of an era of factions, a constantly growing arms race where one group has got to be bigger, better, and badder than the other. I'm setting the bar extremely high with my stable, and I don't suspect anyone is going to reach our quality in the readily foreseeable future hang man puma putting it in um let's do this is our house stated a different way the wwe was our house now you take off your shoes at the door if we invite you in otherwise keep yourselves outside and we'll tell you whether or not we want you to knock this all may come as a surprise to our fellow superstars but it's a shock they're going to have to some deal with I'm assuming is what it said. So that's where we are. We're Whoa, we just it. barely made it. And there you have it. And Dang. All right. Folks, Puma Elite, ladies finish. and gentlemen. Way to tout your faction, Todd says. Coupled with your victory hot off last month, you've completely cemented your current brand. Everything's golden, as you once said. And not entirely. Okay. I mean, I know you wanted to make a bold statement, and you did, but I think the higher-ups aren't going to like you saying that you run things up in here. 
Yep, this is what we're going to say. Now, I talked with Triple H before the video started. And, like, right when I started in, he started talking and I didn't get to record it. But he basically just gave me, like Steph did, gave me permission to do what I wanted. Maybe, but Triple H gave me full sanction before I went out there. You sure about that? You kind of just crapped all over his legitimacy. No one likes to put up with that, you know? The die is cast. And like I care. Puma Elite, ladies and gentlemen, is in the building. We don't have time to talk to Darren Young. He's going to... Paul Hammond's going to say something about your words. Oh, no. He's talking about merch. Money, 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 money. That was a quick week one. Go out there, do a promo. Cesaro. What you got to say for yourself, man? We haven't talked to Cesaro. Well spoken. That set the tone of everything to come. you damn right it did, Cesaro. you damn right. Get my car for me, please. The gray one. Thank you. All right, week two. What do we got for us? Mick Foley. He's got something to say. I think you got a case of amnesia because last week in some sort of days, you forgot all the people who run the show. General manager for a reason, right? Oh, he is fired up. Look at him. Don't point your finger at me, Mick. I'll bite that damn thing off. Honestly, I'm pretty damn insulted you said all that you did. Um, here we go. Okay, I hear what you're saying, Mick, but the truth is that I do run things around here. Oh, smart. You're doubling down on that, then. Matter of fact, I'm about to do you a solid to get your head screwed back on right. This will prove something critical to you. I make the rules. So tonight, you're facing your WrestleMania opponent in a non-title match. Deal with it. That's not a punishment. That's fantastic, actually. Look at the size of this dude. Andre. Now you'll see that the champ runs the show, not you. Huh. All of a sudden, all these people are uh, on the back of the champ. Let's see here. Who's in here? Oh, Heath, I got kids too. Those little brats are asleep right now. Dude, he doesn't have a chance. You got this in the bag. See, Heath Slater knows where... Heath Slater knows where... The power lies, that's for sure. My man, I told you, dial it down. I don't do well at subpar levels. Then aim for par. This overdrive you lock yourself into is doing you no favors. Try to keep yourself at a 5 rather than this constant 11. Well, what fun is that? I mean, come on, Todd. If you can't do that, the both of us pretty keep our jobs. Anyways, good luck. There's the champ, Samoan Joe. All right, let's get this match going here. Samoa Joe, you, man, these fans are getting a treat right now. Uh, don't you know that I run the house? I'm the face that run those matches people will be talking about. What the heck? I think we're about to find out, Cole. Um, that's Seth Rollins. No. He's calling Come on. Well, I mean... No! And here we go. Seth Rollins. Dead gummit! You have got to be kidding me. Todd, please tell me why you're clapping. And why you're so happy? Did you know he was going to do that? Now, why the hell? Come on. Let's say can't reveal my secrets. Hey, I can't go revealing all my secrets, even to you. Man of mystery, is it? Okay, then. Some cards you need to hold close to your chest. Somehow, you always have a plan to pull things out of the fire. And by things, I mean yourself. I might not agree with your tactics, but I can't deny how effective they are. Renee really enjoyed watching that, by the way, or at least that's how I interpret that silly grin plastering on her face. Maybe I'll give her my reaction to recent events. Maybe see that you do. So let's go talk to Renee. I, I don't understand. 
what just happened? I mean, we put our full trust into Seth Rollins, even after being just betrayed by Randy Orton. Welcome back to the show. All right. It seems like you've been pretty disrespectful, disrespectful of management lately. Do you have anything to say about your actions? Oh, I, I didn't even look. I just hit the button. You see, the thing about that, Renee... All right, I knew that was something was coming. The WWE Universe wants a show. I'm going to give it to them. No disrespect to him and what I did tonight. I'm just out there entertaining those people from the front row all the way to the top of the arena because they deserve better than these boring cookie-gutter superstars. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. What are some of the matches you think everyone needs to see on the WWE Network? Uh, yeah, oh, that, that one's perfect. Anything involving me, of course. Dude! Samoa Joe, you're going to come in here and you're going to try to take over my interview? I'm not going to let that nonsense happen. Uh. Big chop and a big punch. We're going to lay it all on the line here. Chop. And the Pele kick. Very nice. Oh, man. Samoan Joe. I, I know I keep saying Samoan Joe. I don't understand what's going on with Seth Rollins. I mean, he was our brother in arms. He was the Puma elite. What's happening, man? And why are we not fighting him? He's the one who betrayed us. I don't care about fighting Samoa Joe until WrestleMania. Holy cow. Huge power slam by Joe. My gosh. Joe, get out of here. Get out of here. Uh. -huh. And wham. DDT, a big one at that. Jeez. Uh, okay, I don't want to stomp. I want to flip. All right, I don't think I'm going to be able to flip. Get up, Joe. You need to eat this wall. Bow. Oh, man. I can't believe Seth Rollins would do such a despicable thing. Uh-oh. Get your ass off of me. And get caught. Oh, no. Run. Yes. Nope. Nope. Oh, man. We just sneaked by the big man. That's because we're heading towards the parking lot. We're getting the hell out of here. Give me this chair. Come on. Come on, Joe. Uh, I feel like we've done this before. I feel like we've done this dance with Joe. Oh, man. Hold the chair, Joe. Bang. Nice. We've done this dance before with Joe and with Randy Orton. And why am I not facing Seth Rollins right now? This is unacceptable. Give me Rollins. And just give me everybody. Samoa Joe, Rollins. I don't care. There we go. Put the chair across his body. I want everybody. Joe, I mean... Oh, okay. Okay, Puma. What are you doing? There we go. Uh, we got to redden up this dude a little bit because I'm going to throw this fool off. Oh, shit. Turn around. Dang it. I'm going to throw this dude off the dang 18-wheeler. Stand up. There we go. It starts to feel like a broken record. No. Wrong direction. Whatever. Give me the chair. I'm just going to head over that head over that way. Come on now. Joe, I've just I can't do it, man. I can't deal with the nonsense anymore. And enough is enough. And it's time for a change. So bring your goofy tail over here. And eat the chair. Ugh. Man, don't you know anything? Don't you know anything? Uh, to the body. Sheesh. It's time. The Puma Gree out on the 
Oh, the cold, hard ground, and we didn't even get a chance to get up to the semi-trailer. And we put Samoa Joe out of his misery. My goodness, I am ready to face this man at WrestleMania. Okay, I think that's going to wrap this video up. I know that not a lot happened. We did a promo, and we quote-unquote had a match. But that really didn't happen. We got um, attacked by our brother-in-arms, Seth Rollins. He's just a backstabbing fool. Why is everybody attacking CM Puma? They're scared. That's why. So that's going to wrap it up. We just whooped Joe's ass in the back. Puma Gree out on the cold, hard concrete of the garage. And we sent Joe packing. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you're not. And guys, episode number 40 coming later. It's WrestleMania time, baby. I'll see you soon.